So um, <clears throat> the morning talk right now is we're going to talk a little bit about Coney Ely. Uh, the thing is, uh, I do know that I put the video out and there's a lot of things that I didn't uncover. I just didn't have time. But I just want to be able to tell you guys too as well. His little weakness. Yes, 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 yes. He cannot. Um, he's not your starting defensive end basically. The thing is, the reservation that you should have is that he cannot beat the double team. Uh, he get washed up on some some blocks too as well. And you can directly run at him. Uh, that should be uh, the, the, the problems that he have. Now, he is a product of casualty and there is casualties of war. Uh, when you're talking about actually the, uh, the, the Carolina Panthers, they had a lot of guys they had to pay all of a sudden. And, and, and when you start crafting your team around that, what happened in a sense is that a lot of times they just don't have the cap room nor the money, so they had to get from up under him. I think they played they paid Kiwan Shorts, they paid uh, Luke Keekley, they paid uh, they I think they they were trying to pay the uh, tight end, and uh, it was just a, a numbers game with him. And I think uh, they crafted a way so they can get him over to uh, the Patriots, and the and the rest is history from there. When you're talking about the New England Patriots. They would they would trade their own grandmother if it is to get the second round pick or a third round pick or what have you, and and New England Patriots are crafty in that way. And and then when they traded him or they got rid of him, and when he ultimately went to the Jets, what happened collectively is what happened to every team. That when you go to a a a, a organization that had was really top heavy on on a lot of defensive players, they paid a lot of money towards the wrong things. They had no reason. To resign him, and and the product wasn't there too. The the, produ the product, the production, uh, I think the scheme didn't fit for him well as well um, as a Rod Marinelli scheme. I think that uh, uh Rod Marinelli will um, find ways to utilize him if he so happened to sign with Dallas. And and my thing is they should go ahead and uh, sign him because he do have those traits. He do have the ability to crash up field, catch balls with the. Uh, with his, his agility as far as his soft hands. That's what I'm talking about. Think about this. The guy had more interceptions than Mo Claiborne at this point uh, in the last three years. Uh, he has that type of ability. He has the skill set to crash up field and all that good stuff. But do he get washed up in blocks? Yes. He don't have that type of temperament of, of taking on a double team. And uh, pretty much that is uh, the quick view of what I have on um, – a Coney Ely. Now I do know that a lot of people are going to say, "Well, uh, this is the stat months, the stat patrol." I call them the stat patrol because they really keep everybody honest. How many sacks he had, or what is he against the uh, the turnover, or what is he against the uh, top tier uh, offense alignments? And there's a lot of things coming to works in place in that. But. Um, is he a depth guy? Yeah, he is a depth guy. He's going to be able to – look, think about this. And that's why I'm really not worried about the double team. I'm really not worried about teams just going to say, okay, we're going to run on that side. Because if you have him and you sprinkle him into the mix, because you just never know what's going to happen to a David Irving. You can't say, well, uh, I think that this guy is going to play 16 weeks. You just never know what's going to happen to Randy Gregory. You can get Coney Ely's uh, insurance, meaning that now you don't have to worry about that side of the field. And and we all seen that we know that Crawford cannot play for his life on the end. You know, you kick Crawford into the inside, he's better fit that way. And then you have you sprinkling in this guy. And what about Tapper? You know, you can never have enough defensive ends. And, and defensive ends, if possible, you continuously, continuously uh, grind and try to get those things over. But that's all the time I have for today. I really thank you guys for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Salute. I'm out. Peace. Yeah, early in the morning. Get your coffee. Let's get up. Let's get let's get ready to grind on this film, baby. Grind, baby.